Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before, I'm Lenny and I have six Daxons, five long hair and one smooth. I also have two miniature pinchers, which is relevant to this video because in this video, I'm gonna be taking you along while I pack for our holiday where we take all eight dogs with us. Some of the things I won't have in this video, I'll just insert clips throughout because I can't be bothered to bring it into the living room. But most of the stuff I've popped here so that you can see what we take on holiday or what we have to pack to go on holiday with so many dogs. So I've put everything in a very disorganized pile next to me and I'm just gonna go through it bit by bit in literally no order at all. So first thing is we take a bowl for water. Very simple, just a water bowl. Um, we've had this for ages, it's just a spare water bowl, so take a water bowl with us. Another thing is we have this little clip-on fan, um, which we bought because we drive in a van when we go on holiday, and it depends on the distance, but it can get a little bit warm in the back of the van, especially after we've been on walks in fields and things, so it's just a nice little fan to clip onto their crate in the van, and then that just blows the cold air from the front of the van into their crate. I'll start it so that you can see how good it is. It does blow, gross. <laughs> it does uh, fan air very quickly. Thirdly, we take some multi-surface wipes, just in case the place doesn't have all of their cleaning products around for us to use. It's good to just have some cleaning wipes so that we can wipe off the surfaces, wipe off the floor if they've come in a little bit muddy. Um, and just having them available is really useful. I have found that some places don't have their cleaning products there because they're gonna clean up after you leave, but we like to leave it really clean so that they'll invite us back. So if you've watched some of my other videos, you might know that we, generally speaking, feed raw diet, but when we go on holiday, it can be really difficult to keep things frozen in the van. And um, we do have cool boxes if we go away for a long amount of time, but if we're going away for a few days, we just take kibble, um, a couple of reasons. Easier to transport, doesn't need to stay frozen. <laughs> Easier to store once we're there because you never know whether they're gonna have freezer space. A lot of them just have a fridge. And we use it when we arrive and throughout the holiday to just scatter feed um, kibble throughout the garden. So it gives them something to sniff around, keeps them interested, keeps them quiet for a little while. It's a nice little game, helps them to settle in. So yeah, we always take kibble with us. The place that we're going is basically just like a little lodge with a hot tub and an enclosed garden. So we can use the kibble in the garden area. And we use Envy dog food. It's a 50% meat dog food, but they do a 65 and an 80%, but we use the 50%. And this is the salmon trout, sweet potato and asparagus. We've been feeding this for years. The dogs never get bored of it. They eat it like it's a treat every single time. You'll see I've spoken about it before in other videos. Um, so yeah, we take that with us. I thought I'd just chime in actually at this point and tell you that none of these things that I'm showing you have we been paid for or anything. Obviously we're a tiny YouTube channel, so you probably already know that, but thought I'd just say that in case you think we're promoting it for any other reason other than this is just the stuff we own and chose to own. Obviously we take a collar or harness for every dog. We take two for each dog so that if one of them were to get broken or lost at any point, we've always got a backup. So all of the dogs minus one wear collars. So Prada wears harnesses. She's the little min pin. I'll insert a little photo here. Um, because collars slip over her head. So she wears a harness. Um, and we just take two of each for every dog. I've got some of them here, um, but we also have a spare in the van. So and I couldn't be bothered to go out to the van and get them. So I'll take you through them, even though these are like super scruffy collars that they wear all the time. So. This is probably gonna set them off because they're gonna think they're going walkies. Now I've said it, what an idiot. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna very subtly show you them. So we've got Nemo's and, Nemo's and Eva's are from Adax of Tonic and they're made from cork, so they're easy to clean, nice little thin ones because they're really little dogs. So you should be able to see them from a distance, hopefully. Dee Dee's, little pink one and, Elsa, little purple one. These ones were just from Amazon. The brand is Friends Forever. Um, I think, which one's, the, where's this one from? Don't know where this one's from, but this is Fenton's. It's just got green little leaves on. Very scruffy, he's had it for ages. This is, where's this one from? 
These are all our like ones that we use all the time, so they're dead scruffy, but this is Evie's. Can't remember for the life of me where it's from. Oh, I should also add that we have lights on all their collars. Dun, dun, dun. It's like a disco. Um, yeah, so we have lights on all of their collars so that when we're away and they go in the garden, we definitely know that they're there. Each one has a different colour so that we can we know who's who. As you can imagine, it's very funny when they've all got their lights on and flashing around. It's like Christmas in the garden. So yeah, um, here's Rubens, which this one's from Tartan Dachshund, but it's got a little bow tie on that isn't from Tartan Dachshund. And then Prada has just a plain back harness. She's got two of these, so as I say, two of everything. And I think that's everyone's. We then take two leads per dog as well. So I've only brought in one of each because you don't need to see 16 different leads. So we have just your standard short length, normal lead from An Anco, whatever. Nice, nice sturdy handle, just your standard plain black. They've all got one of these little lead. And then we also have from Holty the slightly longer leads. Ooh. I think they're going on walks, they're not. Slightly longer leads, and these ones are really cool Ooh. because they have um, clip on both ends, and then they have various loops throughout the lead so that you can basically make the lead whatever length you want, and also you can tie it around your waist if you're needing to pick things up, or if you pop to a cafe or a pub or anything, you can just loop it round and clip them to the bench. So it saves you having to unclip them and do that, you know, the thing that people usually do where they hoop the lead through. So these are really brilliant and they were like, gosh, so cheap. I got them on Amazon, I think for like 3 dollars um, So everyone has one of these as well. So they all have two collars, two leads, just in case we lose anything or anything gets broken. Then we have, what should I show next? Right, let's get under here. And then we have, each dog has a fleece. So these fleeces are waterproof fleeces. Uh, they only have one of these each because they're quite expensive. Um, we've got them from two different brands. We've got the Equa fleece um, fleeces and then we also have the Dry Hound fleeces. They're made from the same material. It's still waterproof fleecing, so it's really fantastic. It keeps them dry underneath if it does, if we do end up walking in a downpour. Um, but with dry hound, you can actually choose the measurements. So I've got a couple of dogs that don't fit the standard measurements of equa fleece. So we went with dry hound for them and then equa fleece for the others. So these have literally just come out of the tumble dryer. So you just wash them in the washing machine. So that's dead easy. Um, and then pop them in the tumble dryer. So they've just come out ready for holiday. So I'll take you through who wears what in case you're interested. So this one was Nemo's, and this is a 14 inch, isn't it? Yeah, so this is a 14 inch Equiface. This was Nemo's, but he's outgrown it now. He's not a little puppy anymore. So it actually fits Eva really well. So this one's now Eva's. This one's Equiface as well, but this is a 16 slim, I think. Doesn't say. This one's a 16 slim, and this is Elsa's. This one's Equiface as well. This one's a 16 slim as well, I think, yeah. This is a 16 slim as well, and this is now, who was wearing this the other day? So this is this is Fenton's, but it actually fits Ruben a lot better now, so Ruben's been wearing the green, and Fenton has upgraded to the dry hound blue, which was Evie's, but now it fits Fenton better. So they sort of, as they, time changes, they get different sizes. So these, this one's one of the made to measure ones, um, and now Fenton's been wearing this one, which is quite cute because it means that Eva and Fenton, who are brother and sister, have got similar pieces. This one was Eva's. This is a dry hound one, which was made to measure because she's so slim and long, but this actually fits Nemo really well now. So this is Nemo's. This is a Equa fleece again, 16 slim, and this is Evie's. This one's just a 16, not a 16 slim, I think. Yeah, this one's just a 16, and this is Dee Dee's, and this is an Equa fleece as well. And then last but not least, this is my favorite color. Bit of an odd favourite, but it is my favourite one. And this one's Prada's, uh, and I think this is, yeah, this is a 14 as well. So although Prada and Ruben aren't Dachshunds, they do prefer the fleeces without the sleeves as well. And obviously the Dachshund ones on Equifleece have no sleeves. So I just bought them basically a Dachshund one. 
because it fits them really well. They've still got broad chests like a dachshund, so it works well. So we've got one fleece each, which has to be packed. Obviously, being that we're on social media and everything else, we do take some accessories to take photos with and bits like that for the dogs. I know it's controversial, some people are like, why on earth would you put accessories on your dogs? But I think it's cute, so if you don't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so we've got some of our favourite accessories that we take, just to take photos and stuff, and just to take photos and stuff. So, this is my latest favourite accessory, and it's a, how do you pronounce it, a snood, I guess? Um, and it's from Harry and Ginny Designs, and it's for Nemo. I'll pop a little photo of him wearing it here, because it's the cutest thing in the world. And um, we've got this little bandana, which is Rubens, uh, and this is by Red and Ginger. And it's like a fleece inside, so nice and comfy, just a cute little bandana. And then we've got this little bandana from Pooch Bandana, is the name of the company. Again, it's like a fleece inside, so nice and comfy. This sort of fits any of them, so they can mix and match with that one. We've got another Harry and Ginny. This is Nemo's, because it's got a short, it was made custom for him, because he needs a short little, the bandanas can't be as long, basically, for him, because they get in the way of his good leg. <laughs> Um, and this is Harry and Ginny designs again, and this is really cute for the summer because it's got little ice creams on. We've got this bandana which is Eva's, and this is really cute, it's got little pom-poms on, look. And the pattern is llamas, can you get any cuter? And this is from a snoring Frenchie, so this is really cute, Eva, it's the, it only fits Eva because it's tiny. So another one from Harry and Ginny, just a cute little, it's sort of like Burberry. Don't know what you call it, but yeah, it's really cute, it just goes on the collar. Then we've got another pooch bandana one, and it's like a blue tartan. And um, this again, it fits uh, Nemo or Fenton or Reuben, so any of the boys can wear the blue. And then we've got another one from Harry and Ginny, and this is obviously Nemo's, because I don't know if you can see it, it actually says Nemo on, I don't know if the sun's shining on it funny. But it's got a little rabbit on it, and it says Nemo on. Again, it's like a soft material inside. All of the bandanas are like this soft material inside, which means it's really comfy as well for them. And that's all their accessories. We just take a few, they can mix and match. They're all similar-ish sizes, so they sort of fit in loads of things. So I can take photos and then swap around. There's a few things that I haven't brought in from the van or I haven't brought into the room because it's just, they're heavy or I can't be bothered. Um, so we take an extra ramp with us. So I will insert a clip now here of our ramps. We've got two of them, so one stays at home, one comes with us. It folds up, so it fits in the van nice and easy. Um, and we just take those for the sofa, and then when we go to bed, if we're allowed to take the dogs in, in the bed in that particular cottage, then we'll, we will. And if not, then we'll take their beds and they can sleep on the floor, which links me on to the fact that we take a few dog beds with us. I'll insert a clip of their big dog bed that we take with us. It's upstairs and I can't be bothered again to go and get it. You can see I'm very lazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, dog bed, essential, so that they've got something that reminds them of home, that they can rest on, settle on, nice and comfy. What else haven't I brought in? Oh, we take loads of blankets to cover the sofas and the chairs at the cottage so that we're not getting any of their sofas or anything messy. A lot of the dog-friendly cottages come with blankets anyway to pop over their furniture, but we do it with our own. Um, what else have I not brought down? We do bring our own bed sheets, because we, if we are allowed to have them in the bed, usually it has a statement saying you need to bring your own bed sheets. So we always take our own bed sheets, but they're upstairs. Um, oh, we take towels, but we always have loads of fresh towels in the van, so they're all sort of dog towels. So we take those. Oh yeah. We also take um, some of our long-lasting natural dog treats. So I've put them in a couple of my other videos, but I'll insert some clips. I did have them in here, but the, but the dogs were just whining for them the whole time. So I've taken them back out to the kitchen, but we take venison sticks, um, some liver, like dried liver. We take uh, duck necks, which are dried duck necks. So things that they can just settle down and chew on when we get to the end of the day, or if I want to do a little bit of work or whatever. For me personally, I take my camera and I take my wellies. They're sort of dog related, I guess, because we do go for walks and I like to have my camera with me. Um, if you want to know what camera I use, then please do ask away and pop it in the comments and I will let you know. Oh, we take Nemo's carrier bag and buggy because he's only allowed to walk for about 30 minutes. Um, and we do hire fields and go for walks. So we take buggy and the carrier bag. 
Um, I'll insert a photo of him in his buggy here because I am not bringing that whole thing into the living room. Um, but yeah, so that's just Nemo specific things that we have to take because he is a three legged dachshund and can only walk for about half an hour. And then finally, which this is probably the most interesting part. So if you've got this far, well done. <laughs> um, we have a little bit of, a, I guess you would call it a bit of a DIY first aid bag. So it's just a little clear bag that we put things that we need in case anything were to happen while we're away. Just a few of the essentials really. I class them as essentials anyway. So if you've been thinking of putting together just a first aid bag, this is what we have in ours. I'm going to bring you a bit closer so I can take you through this first aid kit. So we take, oh please work, there we go. We take Procolin um, which is for if they've got runny bellies. So do a little bit of research on that, but we have always had this in the house and always have it in our little first aid kit in case they get an upset tummy. Hay fever tablets. You don't really need to see those in focus, but we take hay fever tablets in case any of them get stung by a bee or anything like that. It's just antihistamine, very boring. Um, but yeah, just in case they get stung by a bee or get some sort of hives or allergy, then we always take antihistamine. So we take Lucillin spray, which is super useful. It's basically, what do they call it? An antiseptic skincare. Oh, here I am. <laughs> it's an antiseptic skincare, um, which is really useful for if they get a little graze or anything like that that needs antiseptic on it to heal, um, to keep it nice and clean. So if they get a graze in the grass or anything like that, let me take that. We take Metacam, but I don't recommend taking Metacam with you unless you've had it prescribed by the vet at some mm. point so you know that they're okay with Metacam. It's basically the equivalent of a sort of paracetamol, so a painkiller. Um, and all of our dogs have had Metacam before, so we know that they're all okay with it. They're not on any other medications, so we know that they're okay to take it. So it's a useful thing to have on hand if they pull a muscle or anything on holiday, um, and then you take them to the vets, obviously, when you get back. But just something useful to have, just to help them feel a bit more comfortable. So we also take rose geranium oil, which is a fantastic oil for ticks and fleas. Um, so you pop a little dab on their collar or on their toes, <laughs> um, and it just stops ticks. So although they do have a flea and tick treatment before we go on holiday anyway, it's just a useful additive um, just to make sure they don't get them. So that's what we keep in our little DIY first aid kit to take on holiday. That's about it really. The only other thing is we do take a, um, you know, one of these little fur removers, just in case we're struggling to get a patch of fur off of anything, but we've never had to use it, but we've got it with us just in case. Well, I think that's about it for the dogs. Obviously we pack for ourselves as well. Um, but in terms of the dog stuff, that's pretty much everything we take. Um, I hope this has been useful. If you've got any questions about anything that I've included in this video, then please do pop a comment below. And if you'd like me to film our holiday so that you can see what it's like being on holiday with that many Dachshunds and that many dogs, please comment below. So thank you very much for watching and getting the whole way through this video. As I always say, it is Dachshund, not Dachshund, not Dachshund, Dachshund. Cheers, guys.